Entertainment. What is up, guys? My name is Akasan Comics Plus, and yo, man. Um, oh, oh, your boy back in Japan, my home. Uh, thank you very much to everybody that I met during my trip to the East Coast. Echo Mog, Failwell, Blind Wave, Tyrone Magnus, um, Armin from Comic Book Cast. We talked, uh, JP uh, Powell. The Black Arrow, uh, anybody else that I, uh, I don't want to forget anybody? The Struggle Nation, um, uh, Dead D Pity, everybody, everybody. If I don't, I'm sorry to jet lag, if I don't want to, all the fans, that was an amazing experience. Kevin Conroy, we got a lot of different videos coming up, a lot of different comment, uh, con content coming up. It'll be sporadically out like a fucking time. It'll be crazy, guys. But, I just want to say thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Uh, we're going to get back into the mix here. We're doing a lot of things, catching up on a few videos. Let's go ahead and get into Honest Trailers uh, Solo. I, for one, think that people really missed out on this show. I thought it was awesome. Uh, this movie, I thought they really did themselves a discredit, especially if you're considered a hardcore Star Wars fan. Um, I, I can't understand why this movie got so much hate um, because to me personally I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan or I wasn't the biggest Star Wars fan until the new trilogy came out I don't care if people like that or hate that if you're not a real fan I don't give a fuck what you think about that um, because to me watching Solo I felt like um, it really had this feel and look of the original trilogy I thought it really it kind of reminded me of when I went to Disneyland as a child and I would see like you know Captain EO or Tomorrowland and just had this really nice feel to it so I don't understand where the hate it got from this I do think timing was one thing ironically at the, the reaction I'll do after this is Ant-Man and the Wasp um, I feel like the timing with all of these movies that came out after Infinity War, people were just really burnt out. Particularly when I think it was Infinity War, then Deadpool, then Solo, all of them. Today's episode is brought to you by the U.S. Army. Okay. Sorry. You love the original trilogy with a burning passion. You went to war over The Last Jedi. Now, get ready for a completely new kind of Star Wars movie. One you'll forget by the time you're home from the theater. <laughs> Solo, a Star Wars story. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that did come out this year, didn't it? Damn! Disney reshot half of their first Star Wars story because they didn't like what the director did. Watch them hand the keys to an exciting new creative team. Then reshoot even more of the movie because they didn't like what the directors did. <laughs> You're touchy. Resulting in a mixed bag that wasn't exactly great, but wasn't exactly terrible. Yeah! And if that's how Disney plans to bring balance to the Force, just sit me up, fam. Prepare for a feature-length adaptation of Han Solo's Wikipedia page in a film that's less a Han Solo character study and more of an origin story for all of Han Solo's accessories, like his gun, his ship, okay. and about okay. a little notch in his ship. Well, what are you doing? That's the escape pod! Okay. His favorite comeback. I hate you. And, of course, his iconic... Dice? I didn't even catch that. The guy, dice, yeah. Since when were the dice such a big deal? Right? Yeah. It was just a silly background prop. Not everything needs an explanation. No, it wasn't. I don't have to. Leia was holding it in mm -hmm. The Last Jedi. Uh, right? Solo. No one asked for this. I thought, that was, I thought that was funny. I thought that was pretty funny, though. He's stuck with a thankless job of playing a young Harrison Ford. I waited a long time for a shot like this. I'm not about to screw it up, all right? He'll add new dimensions to the selfish outlaw pilot we met in New Hope by showing us he was never much of an outlaw. He was a good guy. And he was never really that selfish. Hey. Damn it. 
but boy, did he have a hard on for being a pilot. Hey. I'm gonna be a pilot. I'm gonna be a pilot. I swear to myself, I've become a pilot. I'm a great pilot. I'll be your co pilot. Mm-hmm. We've already got the pilot. Okay, okay, he wants to be a pilot. We get it already. Anything else? What was his dad like? He wanted to be a pilot. Ugh, never really? mind. Let's just go back to learning about his accessories. Where'd he get that vest? Scrappy guys <laughs> towards a game of even scruffier nerf herders. Like Chewbacca, who eats people now? Beckett, who acts a lot like Woody Harrelson if he got trapped in a Star Wars movie. Kira. There's gonna be carnage. Him, but really working with Han, but really working with Darth Maul? He can't triple cross a double cross. He can't triple cross a double cross. Val, the coolest new Star Wars character in the <laughs> 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 Except for that part where he's clearly having sex with this boy. How would that work? Okay, that was good. <laughs> and L337, who is either an SJW or an offensive satire of wokeness, depending on which part of the internet you like to scream at. True. True. When Han Solo is the blandest character in your Han Solo movie, you've got a problem. I'm Han. Nobody cares. That. Did you want a darker take on the Star Wars franchise? Well, you've got it. Because this one is so dark, it's hard to see what's happening. Whether the action is hidden in deep blue... Yo, but I kind of like that! A kind of drab olive? Or Taco Bell beef orange? (laughs) By the time your eyes adjust, you'll realize everyone in the galaxy is lit like they're in witness protection. Oh, cool! (laughs) There's the Falcon? I think. Man, this movie is literally the dark side. So cast the first yeah, I disagree with Disney that one. Star Wars era that froze all the other standalone projects in Carbonite, but gave fans a sense of how Han became the character we all know and love by going through the events of Solo. <laughs> then at some point off camera before A New Hope, becoming the character we all know and love. That. I can say he heard about this very big gangster putting together a job. So what was the point of this movie again? <laughs> Starring Lone Star. Harry and the Harrelsons. White man can't jump to light speed. Khaleesi, the sentient being trapped inside the Falcon. <laughs> Six seasons and a Wookiee. I want Tandy. Name this character. You can't, can you? Ah, Pirate, vision. Aurelian, it's fucking vision. Sense, Star vision. Taras Kasi. That crappy PlayStation game is canon now. Oh. Half the mall I used to be. And Disney, every time they fire a director in the middle of a production. Ooh, I got a really good feeling about this. Cowboy Beef Lob. Okay, I agree there. Um, Cowboy Beef Lob. Solo. So, you know, if Solo isn't his birth name, why did he give it to his kid? And then name him after Luke's hermit friend who he knew for like, a day maybe? No wonder he talked him off that bridge. <laughs> Today's episode was brought to you. All right. Um, Find out more. By damn, Colonel man. Colonel. You know, honestly. What's the matter, Colonel Sanders? Chicken. Chicken. The watermelon is a soup. An explosion a day keeps, keeps the, the Michaels, Michaels at bay. What, what makes, makes a hero? Punch an old, old lady, lady in the, in the face. face. That was true about Captain Marvel. <laughs> for reals. Um, I, you know what it is for me? I think what it is for me. I think, I like, look. I'll be the first to admit that I'm so attached to uh, certain characters. There's just, I think, three characters that I'm really attached to. Batman, Spider-Man, and Venom. I mean, obviously, with Venom, right? And I, and I think Venom and Spider-Man is a, big, a bit of a mix anyways. Um, so it's harder for me to like step outside and see, take something for what it is, right? Or whatever. Or particularly if I know the character so well that any sort of changes they make or anything that uh, they add to it, I'm gonna be like, mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> um, and so I feel like maybe what Star, or what Solo is for me, is exactly the opposite of like I don't really have much of an attachment to the original trilogy. I have an idea of the trilogy. I kind of know where things go into place, but I, I don't really have a crazy love for the original trilogy so it's easier for me to be like okay this looks this looks acceptable like i'm cool with this i like it so i don't get like crazy defensive if it's not like it you know i feel that's the main point honest trailers was trying to put out is the fact that i guess from what they're explaining is like the han solo we know from the trilogy 
is pretty removed from the Han Solo of the origin story, basically, where I feel that if that's the case, then there's still there's still a lot of growth. I mean, there's still a lot of uh, growth for a sequel. I would love to see a sequel. I've heard a few people say that. I like I didn't see like I didn't I didn't feel like there was a big problem, but at the same time, I personally felt the the only thing I will say is that the actor seemed that played Han Solo felt like he was a bit nervous and that he had uh, he needed guidance a lot like I think he felt like he was a little too nervous a little too worried about making it a Harrison Ford story more than uh, 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 fitting the Harrison Ford mold and trying to really keep that thing going instead of breaking off and giving us just a really interesting character Again, this movie doesn't get enough credit for that. Um, and what have you. This, it wasn't my favorite movie of this year. Nah, not, a, not, not by a long shot, but it was a good movie. And I definitely feel like it had this Cowboy Bebop vibe or whatever. Um, I really wonder if uh, Greg Alba, you know, reactor and friend, um, Influenced, because uh, you know he hangs out with the announcer guy, the guy that does the voice of the honest trailers. I wonder if he, because I remember he was one of the first people to also mention the fact that from Solo he was kind of hoping and expecting, or he was he's hoping that there's going to be this like cowboy bebop type of vibe, and I agree with that. And I wonder if they he got him influenced a bit on that. Anyways, <clears throat> Red Red Nation, stand up, speak up. Let me know what you guys think about this. What are we on now? Woo! 13 minutes. That's how I do it, baby. That's how I do it on this channel. Let me know what you guys thought about this movie. What, did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you agree with Honest Trailer's uh, opinion of it? Uh, I thought it, I really thought it was the, maybe the. I personally thought it was much better than Venom. That's for damn sure. And I definitely think it was probably the most entertainable passable type of movie. Like, meh. Like, you know, I'm not going to go crazy over it. I'm not like gonna become like a fucking solo savior or some shit like that. But I thought it was good, in and out, ready for the next one. I definitely don't think that the uh, they should have canceled the outgoing movies after Solo's performance. Uh, and the, you know the new side movies, and people are celebrating that for whatever reason. I say keep bringing them because I would love to still see. I mean, those same people that are complaining about giving a backstory to Solo are like they don't need to give a backstory to Solo are the same people that are going crazy over the Joker's origin story and or wanting the Obi-Wan Kenobi prequel type movie it's like can't pick and choose those battles all right till next time guys I'm out of here and may the force be with you Always.